This is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm going to talk to you today about a piece of equipment that I've really had a lifetime love-hate relationship with, and mostly hate, and that is a sickle bar mower. And a lot of folks that move out to the country maybe have a place that's difficult to keep groomed, and if the tractor could be off to the side and mow with an offset, uh, they could keep it looking good. And so maybe they want a sickle bar more for that, or maybe they want to be in the hay production. And um, I want to talk today about a sickle mower. I'm going to give you five things I just hate about sickle mowers, and then I'm going to give you a couple of things I really like about them. And then I'm going to give you a tip at the end uh, that you need to stay with me and watch because it's really important. First thing I hate about sickle mowers today, when I was a kid, every farm owned a sickle mower. It's what we cut a hay with. And then along came an invention from Europe called a disc mower. And everybody got rid of their sickle mowers, got disc mowers because they were a whole lot faster and just a whole lot better machine for cutting hay. And at that point in time, you could buy all the sickle mowers you wanted cheap, like 200, 300 bucks. And that's what, in my mind, they ought to be. So if you're out shopping for a sickle mower, be prepared. There's not that many of them left. They're getting really, really old and worn. There's not that many new ones sold. And the old ones in good shape are really expensive. Most of the people that still own them know what kind of value they have because there's more, there's more demand than there is supply. So expect to pay way more than you think they ought to be worth to buy one. And, and there are a few new ones out there. It may be something to look at if you're looking for a sickle mower. The second thing I hate about a sickle mower, if you're, if you're buying it to mow hay, in really heavy hay conditions, it can take all day because you mow a little while, it gums up, it, 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 it just packs full of hay, you have to back up and go forward again. In heavy hay conditions, they're horrible. A disc mower is much, much preferable to mow hay with than a sickle mower, okay? Third thing I don't like about a sickle mower, it's not a brush hog. It's designed for grass, and it's not going to it's not going to destroy the grass or mulch the grass, it's just going to lay it over on its side. And, uh, and so if you have smaller trees, uh, I have an area here that I want to mow and I'm going to go through and cut the smaller trees out beforehand so I don't damage the sickle mower. Now it'll cut a tree the size of your pinky, but I, it, it's, it's more wear on it if it does. So it's, it's not a brush hog. Now the last two things are things I really, really don't like about sickle mowers. Number one, they're a pretty high maintenance machine. Uh, there's lots of moving parts there. There's lots of places you need to grease and grease regularly. That's number one. And, and number two is that the sickle goes back and forth. The, the sickle uh, sections themselves need to be sharp. I spent a lot of hours as a kid holding one end of the sickle while dad sharpened the, the sections. And uh, it was a good way to lose a finger. I'm lucky I've got all my fingers today. But you gotta keep those sickle sections sharp. Uh, the guards have gotta be straight and, and in, in place. And there's a hole down uh, that, that has to keep the bar down tight. And all that has to be straight. And, and if you hit it and damage something, you've got to replace it. So they are a fairly high maintenance piece of equipment. If you start getting a little surface rust on the sickle, and this one is starting to get it, uh, you need to keep it oiled up so it kind of keeps that shined up. I'm going to give it a nice coat of oil before I use it uh, to, to try to keep everything moving. So keep it lubricated. Uh, there's a lot of places uh, that you need to do that. Now the last reason I hate a sickle mower, and this is huge, they are a booger to hook up. I remember as a kid trying to hook them on a tractor, uh, they want to kind of tip over either frontwards or backwards because you have that sickle hanging up uh, on this new Holland, which a lot of the ones that are out there are new Hollands. They have a, a device you can hook up the pins pretty easy, but then there's this device that goes up to the back of the tractor in place of your top link, and then your top link goes between that mechanism and the back, and that's how you adjust your angle is with the top link there. And on this particular tractor, I have a 40 horsepower compact tractor, and, and the sickle mower was designed when 40 horsepower compact tractors didn't exist. And so it's not designed for a tractor with a, a narrow rear opening. And so on this particular one, there's a couple of arms that come out that just almost contact the, uh, the lift arms of the three-point. In fact, I've had to move them from one hole to another to get clearance to put the 
the the uh, sickle mower on this tractor and it, it the hookup literally took a couple of hours to happen. It's the first time I've hooked it to this tractor. When I was a kid growing up, we used this on a about a 60 horse utility tractor, and that's what they're designed for, but they are definitely not designed for compact. So the bottom line is, if you buy one, you're gonna be spending a lot of time hooking and unhooking, and when you unhook, it wants to go every which way. If you unhook it in the woods and it, it, it sinks in the grass, it's hard to get back on. They are just a real problem to get on and off a tractor. So, so be ready for that and also be ready for the fact that if you have a smaller compact tractor, they have enough horsepower to pull a sickle mower. There may not be enough of a rear opening to get all that mechanism hooked up and with enough clearance to clear everything so you can operate it properly. This one is still not there. I probably need to do some modification on it so I can make everything adjustable and get it, get it tweaked just right. But right now, I don't exactly know how to do it. I'm gonna get an owner's manual and try to figure all that out. Now, here's what I absolutely love about a sickle mower. I have a ditch that is really, really hard to mow. I usually do it with a, a, a push mower or a weed eater. And I just ran this sickle mower over it a couple, three times, and I'll show you here what it looked like. Oh my goodness, it was all knocked down. And a couple of days later, here's what the finished product, product looks like. We've got an area that I can't get the brush hog across there, and that sickle mower just went right through, cut it down, and made it look beautiful. And about uh, two or three passes over it and, it, and it looks just great. So for that, those type of applications, or a pond bank, a sickle mower is outstanding. Now the other thing is, if you wanna, if you wanna be in the hay production, and most of us that have these compact tractors don't have remote hydraulics. A remote hydraulic is a mechanism on the back that, that sends hydraulic oil to a cylinder. So if you have a disc mower, you have to lift the bar up and down with a cylinder. And if you don't have plug-ins on the back for hydraulics, you can't do that. Your balers take hydraulics. Uh, you, most, some hay rakes take hydraulics. So if you're wanting to do hay and you have no remote hydraulics on your tractor, which a lot of the compacts don't, you can get a sickle mower, cut the hay, get a ground drive rake, rake the hay, and get a square baler and bale the hay with no hydraulics on, on any tractor. That's the way it all used to be done. So if you want to be in the hay and you want to do it, the problem is you're going to be using mostly older equipment probably. and. Uh, and you may be doing a little maintenance on it. So ditches and the hay, you love these, these machines. One last thing. Be really, really careful with these guys when you're mowing with a sickle mower. They get the concept of danger being around noise. And, and, and if, you, if you're around them a lot with a the tractor, they tend to go to one side or the other to get away from you, to get away from the noise. The sickles don't make all that much noise when you're cutting, and these guys don't get the concept of that, that blade going through the grass. So if, if they're hanging out next to the tractor, it could be bad, and we don't want to end a dog's life that way. So keep your pets away when you're doing sickle mowing. I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And if you have questions or comments, put them down below. I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.